So since we've been in Italy, no museums have been open because of COVID, obviously. Um, um, but as of yesterday, Pompeii is open back up, which is quite lucky. It's a complete fluke because we were just going to try and have a little peek at it, but we can actually go in, hopefully. So fingers crossed. Got until we got checking at two o'clock in Naples. We've got a couple of hours here, hopefully. And we're going to come back because we're going to go look at Mount Vesuvius. Yeah. Um, yeah, when we finished in Naples. What a ball aching that oh was. Oh my god, if I knew that I would have just <laughs> bought it last night. You're about 15 minutes stood there trying to buy a ticket online, which they don't tell you online, but you can actually buy them when you get here. And you've got to register for an account. Luckily, we got Danny in as an EU resident still under 24, so ours was €3.50, mine was 16. You could have probably, not that we want to like outdo everyone <laughs> money, but you probably could have said you're under 25. He was like, where are you from? I was like, England. And then I just sort of like walked away backwards. Like, but we're in, we're in. 2,000 years old. Look like I'm straight from New York. New York? Oh, wait, where'd you go to? New Superdrug. 2,000 years old. It was straight from Superdrug. <laughs> So we've done a bit of research on Pompeii. It was almost like a Butlins, but a real posh Butlins. Like a little party town like Magnad. <laughs> they had lots of sex and drank Just lots. Just full of brothels. Yeah. Talk it to ourselves, mate. Pink Floyd played here. When did they play? Pompeii had a population of about 30,000 people and the whole population of the city would have fit in this amphitheatre. Which is crazy. Squashed I... right in. Yeah, right. It doesn't look big enough to have 30,000 people in. I guess everyone would have been really squashed though, wouldn't they? The leads hanging out. I think I take back Joe saying this is like Butlins. That's a, a complete <laughs> offence. It's not like Butlins, it's beautiful. Posh Butlins. Oh. There's a vineyard here which has been, well, it's in the same position it was in 79 AD, and apparently you can still buy the wine. So I could try and track some down. That'd be gorgeous. Mm. That volcanic soil. Is that cats? taken it over. It's like that temple in Asia that the monkeys are taken over, but by cats. Where are they in there somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Miss you. We're reading as well that the Italian government claimed a state of emergency here in Pompeii in 2008 because so many people were just coming in and stealing artifacts in like unprotected areas that's still being excavated. So bad. So lots of things have been like gated off and stuff now, but they're still excavating, which is crazy. I think these bits are just shut because they've only just reopened, but mm. yeah, the bits that are actually still digging and still like ash and stuff, which is crazy. Apparently loads of people that stole stuff here brought stuff back or like sent parcels back, like hundreds of parcels because they claimed that it gave them bad luck. <laughs> So no so pocket or anything. Yeah, it does. Just us and the workers. Mm -hmm. And the street dog. Tragically, back whenever this happened, about 2,000 years ago, they weren't actually aware of what volcanoes were. 
So there would have been a massive earthquake, at least one, which would have been a, quite a big warning. There would have been stuff already coming out the top, which again would have been a warning, but because they, what do you call it? Honour to like God. The gods, yeah, because they had a, yeah. They just thought it was like him being happy. And had they known about volcanoes, probably been many more survivors. Oh, look at the pots. Oh, wow. Garden of the Fugitives, and it's where 13 victims have been preserved by like plaster. Anyone that's been to Glastonbury does not resemble the temple. Probably inspired by something like this. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a bit more fit for camera than I normally am when I'm in the temple. Rikey, what do you say to it? Yeah. I think that's us done here anyway. You could Good spend all day. Yeah, there. you could. Yeah, there's so many little streets and alleyways. You could come in multiple times and still find something new. Every time you like turn the corner, you're like, wow, just speechless. On route to Naples now. Yeah. Pizza. Our filming's all over the place, but we're going to try and get to the top of Vesuvius today. It is absolutely chucking it down, so we're not going to be able to see anything, but just to say we've Just to say it. we've been driven up as far as you can. You can get up to like 1,000 metres, it's only like a 1,300 metre mountain or volcano. And we have done our last food shop today of things to take back. Obviously now with Brexit, we can't bring back as much food as we probably of previously which is just as well really yeah we're gonna cut down in this year but we've got loads of tin tomatoes and just nice foods that you can't necessarily get yeah. at home nice probably a bad day to do this in a three and a half time van but when in rome Actually, as high up as you can get on Mount Vesuvius with a vehicle. About a thousand meters today. About a thousand meters above sea level, so taller than Scafell. Mm -hmm. If we went right to the summit, it'd be taller or as tall as Ben Nevis. That's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Completed yeah. it, mate. <laughs> 